So we are going to do a reading passage today and the focus of today's exercise is on matching the headings. Most students find this is the most difficult part of uh, doing the reading passages. So I have taken this uh, test from the official Cambridge book. It's the reading test 8 and reading passages 2. It's about the Hollywood uh, film industry. When you look at the uh, matching the headings, always keep a couple of things in mind. One is first read the instructions because what happens is sometimes they would have already done an example for you. Right? If they have already done an example, you should be aware of that and not again answer that. Sometimes the example can be the first passage or sometimes the example can be somewhere in the middle passage. Let's say the passage paragraph D, they would have already mentioned that paragraph D, this is the answer. So you should be careful about that because if you miss that, you are again going to kind of do wrong answering in your answer sheets. So first be aware of have they asked you to do for all the paragraphs or only some of the paragraphs. right? In this exercise, we have got six paragraphs and they have asked us to do for all the paragraphs. right? So we need to find six answers. That is the requirement for, for this reading passage. Second thing you need to do is to look at the list of headings. In the matching the heading exercise, the list of headings will always have more number of headings than the paragraphs on the list. Here we have 6 paragraphs and we have got 8 headings, which means 2 headings are superfluous. We are not going to use 2 of those headings. And never ever will you have 2 headings matching one paragraph. Right? It is always going to be very unique. One heading will match only one paragraph and not more than that. Okay. One thing that you need to again do when you do matching the headings is read the list of headings and understand their meaning. Now, if you do not understand the meaning, you will be lost. Right? Read the list of headings, understand the meaning and then start working on the paragraphs. Let us look at each of these headings. First heading, the power within each studio. Right? A power within each studio. If a paragraph has to have this as a title, then that paragraph should be describing the power structure within each studio. So many studios should be mentioned and the power structure in each studio or the power struggle in each studio, something related to the power in each studio should be mentioned. Only then this paragraph will match, this heading will match that paragraph. Right? Second heading, the movie industry adapts to innovation. Right? If a paragraph has to have this as a heading, the paragraph should contain some innovation that had come into the industry, some technical innovation, innovation or some creative innovation that had come into the industry and how the movie industry adapted to that innovation. That should be the uh, theme of that particular paragraph. Third one, contrasts between cinema and other media of the time. What would this mean? It would mean that the paragraph has been describing Cinema and also been describing other media of that time. What would media mean? Newspapers, TV serials, maybe some other books, right? All these are different media. So there should be a contrast, you know, cinema is like this, whereas TV is like this, cinema is like this, whereas books are like this. You know, that is the contrast that should be described in the paragraph for it to have the third one as its heading. Fourth one, the value of studying Hollywood's golden age. That paragraph should be focused on the golden age of Hollywood and it should say what is the advantage, right? Value of studying Hollywood's golden age, the advantage of studying a particular period of time, right? That is what the paragraph should contain. Fifth one, distinguishing themselves from the rest of the market. What would this mean? The paragraph should be talking about how somebody who is selling something is distinguishing themselves from the rest of the market. As an example, suppose there are, let us say, six people who are vending tea for us, right? One person should be saying that, well, others are giving tea from China, I am selling tea from India or I am selling, selling tea from Sri Lanka, right? He is distinguishing themselves from the others. That is what the focus of it should be, that how each person is being different from the others. That is what distinguishing themselves from the rest of the market would be. A double attack on film studios power, a double attack, right? which means that two things were out there to attack on the power of the studios. So two phenomena or two uh, incidents or something should be mentioned in that paragraph which gives it the title double attack 
on the film studio's power last but one gaining control of the industry gaining control of the industry means the industry is the film industry right so something should be mentioned about how the whole industry was being controlled by a few people or some people that's what it should be it should uh, talk about the last one the top movies of hollywood's golden age this should be very obvious to us right a series of movie names should come which which were created in the hollywood's golden age that's what if that if any paragraph has got a series of names of movies mentioning uh, that could were created in the golden age then this would be the apt title for it right so it's very important that you first read the list of titles and understand their meaning right don't just look for keywords understand the meaning of each of these titles right you are done then let's move on to the next uh, thing do you have do we go in a systematic order of a to f or can we go at a random order if you are short of time right let's say you come to the last passage and you are running short of time and there are only maybe about 10 minutes left for you and you want to complete as many match the endings as possible then going in a chronological order or top to bottom doesn't really help because some of the paragraphs may be longer some of the paragraphs may be shorter so in that case the best thing to do is look at the passage choose the smallest paragraph and match a heading for that okay that's one way to go about doing it so let's start this look at this paragraph we got one a b c d e and f in case you do not have this just pause this video and open your official cambridge book and go to test 8 and start with this paragraph and then you can restart the video okay just pause it get that original thing and then start uh, learning how it should be done so these are the two or three things that you need to keep in mind when you start your matching the headings exercise when you look at this paragraph a to e right we'll start with the paragraph which is the smallest paragraph there's nothing which says that you have to go in a systematic order right we can start off with the smallest paragraph because i need to read very less to get an answer right so let's start with that paragraph e on the other hand studios also had to cultivate flexibility in addition to characterization of individual studios styles mgm tended to put out a lot of all star productions while paramount excelled in comedy and warner brothers developed a reputation for gritty socialism 20th century fox forged the musical and a great deal of prestige biographies while universal specialized in classic horror movies what is this, what does this paragraph talk to us about right it talks to us about how each of the studios you know mgm did this paramount did these kind of movies warner brother had uh, 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 an inkling for gritty social realism 20th century fox was specializing in musicals but each studio what they were specializing in that's what this paragraph is all about now let's take a look at the headings one way to match headings is to eliminate things that don't suit this particular paragraph right and then choose one that suits it you need to eliminate all the others and also choose one that suits it that's one of the best ways or more logical ways of going about matching the headings did this paragraph talk about power within each studio it did not right nothing was mentioned about what was the power within each studio the movie industry adapts to innovation nothing about innovation came in this paragraph right we did not talk about some new technical or creative innovation that came in nothing of that sort happened contrast between cinema and other media of the time no media was mentioned only thing was mentioned about was the studios right no media nothing about tv newspaper books nothing of that sort was being mentioned the value of studying hollywood's golden age we did not even hear anything about golden age in this paragraph so this does not suit it distinguishing themselves from the rest of the market right distinguishing themselves from the rest of the market now look at what we study what we read right that how each studio was different from the others now that is distinguishing themselves from the rest of the market right so obviously five is an answer for us straight forward here but we will continue with the list and eliminate the others so that we are 100% confirmed that this is the only thing that suits this paragraph 
a double attack on film studios power no nothing about the double attack or any kind of an attack on studios power was mentioned gaining control of the industry again nothing about control of industry itself came in and the last one top movies of hollywood's golden age we did not even get to hear about one movie in this thing in this paragraph right so it's not about top movies so the only thing that suits paragraph e is distinguishing themselves from the rest of the market so the way to go about matching the headings is read the headings understand their meaning read the smallest paragraph match each of the headings and say this doesn't suit this doesn't suit this doesn't suit this one suits and again go to the entire list never ever stop short because sometimes you need to match the one that's closest right so we, what we have done here that for paragraph e it is answer is 5 right so we put this answer as let's say 5 okay so now let's go on to the next paragraph paragraph f that is the one which is the next uh, you can say the shortest right in 1948 struggling independent movie producers and exhibitors finally triumphed in their battle against the big studios monopolistic behavior in the state versus paramount federal decree of that year the studios were ordered to give up their theaters in what is commonly referred to as divestiture opening the market to smaller producers this coupled with the advent of television in the 1950s seriously compromised the studio systems influence and profits hence 1930 and 1948 are generally considered as book hollywood's golden age right this should read 1950s 1930s right so what did we what did we learn here that there was a case right whenever you get something like the state versus paramount federal decree it means that it is a court case right in the court case what happened the studios were asked to give up their theaters in what is commonly referred to as divestiture or opening of the market to smaller producers and then this coupled with the advent of television advent means the start right the beginning uh, of television right the inception of television right so the this coupled with the beginning of television in the 1950s seriously compromised the studio system's influence and profits hence 1930 and 1948 are generally considered the bookends of hollywood's golden age so what what applies for this one we, we saw that there was a court case and another that television had come in and it compromised the studios systems influence or studio systems powers and profit power and profits right so look at the list of headings did it talk about the power within each studio it didn't right nothing about power within each studio was talked about the movie industry adapts to innovation nothing about innovation came in this paragraph there was no innovation there was no adaptation to innovation right we only saw that there was a court case and there was the beginning of the television contrast between cinema and other media of the time the media was mentioned here of television but there was no comparison or there was no contrast between how cinema and the tv differ or the cinema and this thing or same nothing of the sort was done at the value of studying hollywood's golden age the word golden age came in here right this is something you need to be aware of in your doing matching the headings don't just look, look at the word golden age and say this paragraph contain golden age so this is the answer that's that's a mistake you make by just matching some keywords right so do not do that read and understand the entire sentence here the value of studying hollywood's golden age there was nothing about what is the advantage what's the benefit of studying hollywood's golden age in that paragraph distinguishing themselves from the rest of the market no this is not at all about distinguishing themselves from the rest of the market and here we have already seen that we have marked for paragraph e as 5 right so this was not even about that double attack on film studios power right two attacks now is this the correct one what were the two attacks we saw here one was that about a court case another was about the beginning of television right two things stripped the studios of their power and influence that's what came in this paragraph right so this is something that suits it but let's also eliminate the others gaining control of the industry no nothing about gaining control of the industry 
top movies of Hollywood's golden age. We did not have a mention of any Hollywood's movies in this paragraph. So the only thing that suits is is the double attack on film studios power. So six, right? Answer for F is six, right? Answer for F is six. Now look at the others A, B, C, D. Now all of them are more or less the same size, right? There's nothing for us to choose. So we can start straight away with paragraph A. So we can now go in the systematic order because all of them are more or less the same size. So paragraph A. This chapter examines the golden age of Hollywood film studio system and explores how a particular kind of filmmaking developed during this period in the U.S. film history. It also focuses on, on the two key elements which influence the emergence of the classic Hollywood studio system: the advent of sound and the business idea of vertical integration. In addition to its historical interest, inspecting the growth of the studio system may offer clues regarding the kinds of struggle that accompany the growth of any new medium. It might, in fact, be intriguing. to examine which changes occurred during the growth of the hollywood studio and compare those changes to the contemporary struggles in which production companies are trying to define and control emerging industries such as online film and interactive television now what did we read, read about in this paragraph we read about this chapter examines the golden age of hollywood film studio right and it, this this paragraph introduces us to the hollywood's golden age and it also said what is the benefits of studying that right here it is right in addition to the historical interest inspecting the growth of hollywood studio system may offer the kind of struggle that accompanies the growth of any new medium whenever a new medium comes in right what's how does it how does it grow so studying this golden age is an there's an advantage of we can we can understand how a new medium grows it might in fact be intriguing to examine the changes occurred during the growth of the studio this those compare the stories the contemporary struggle in which production companies are trying to define control emerging studios such as online films and interactive television so that's an advantage if we study this we can also understand how the online film and interactive television industries are going to emerge or have emerged so there's an advantage doing that so what suits this the power within each studio no we did not have a list of studios in which the power was being described the movie industry adapts to innovation did, did anything about innovation come here right we just saw that the advent of sound right advent again means the beginning of sound and the business idea of vertical integration right these two things came in but there was nothing about how it adapted to it two innovations have been mentioned here but nothing about how it adapted to it third one contrast between cinema and other media of the time no no other media has been mentioned in this uh, paragraph the value of studying hollywood's golden age right we saw that golden age is being mentioned and the advantage of studying the golden age is being mentioned right so we hold this as the answer right the value of studying hollywood's golden age but let's again not stop here we'll eliminate the others and confirm distinguishing themselves from the rest of the market no nothing about distinguishing themselves came here double attack on film studios power nothing about an attack on the film studio power came in gaining control of the industry something about control was there right but nothing about how the control was gained came in this top movies of hollywood's golden age hollywood's golden age has been mentioned in this paragraph but nothing about which were the top movies in the hollywood's golden age so even by the process of elimination we understand that only thing that really matches this is the value of study hollywood's golden age right so paragraph a answer is 4 right answer is 4 for paragraph a let's go to paragraph b the shift of the industry away from silent films began in the late 90s warner brothers 1927 film the jazz singer was the first to feature synchronized speech and with it came a period of turmoil for the industry Studios now have proof that talky films would make them money, but the financial investment of this kind of filmmaking would require from new camera equipment to new projection facilities, 
made the studios hesitant to invest at first. In the end, the power of cinematic sound to both the audiences, to both move the audiences and enhance story, persuaded studios that talkies were worth investing in. Overall, the use of sound in films was well received by audiences, but that should be but. But there were still technical factors to consider. Although full integration of sound into movies was complete by 1930, it would take somewhat longer for them to regain the stylistic elegance and dexterity. The camera now had to be encased in a big, clumsy, unmovable, soundproof box. In addition, actors struggled to have to direct their speech to awkwardly hidden microphones in huge plants, telephones, and even costumes. What did this talk about? This talked about the jazz singer, right? One film name has been mentioned here. And it talked about the first synchronized speech, right? Sound. Earlier, there were silent films. Now, talky films, right? They were called talky films earlier. They were introduced, right? The first film with sound was the jazz singer. So, we are, we are, meant, we are told about how the film industry had a new innovation, right? It had the 